What's up DP? I'm Brett. I hope you guys all had a great break and a happy new year. On Saturday, the FRC or FIRST Robotics Competition released this year's challenge for robotics teams across the nation. Let's take a look. Welcome to the 2014 FIRST Robotics Competition and this year's game, Aerial Assist. Aerial Assist is played on an approximately 25 by 54 foot field. Alliances of three teams each operate their robots from behind alliance walls at the ends of the field. Two large scoring goals are located at the top of each alliance wall above the driver stations. Two smaller scoring goals are at the lower corners of the alliance wall. The center of the field is spanned by the truss, which is approximately five feet above the floor. The field is segmented into three equal sized zones, red, white, and blue. Additional goalie zones are at the ends of the field, between the pairs of low goals. Aerial assist is played with two foot diameter exercise balls, colored red and blue to match the corresponding alliance. The objective of aerial assist is for teams on an alliance to work together to advance the ball down the field and score into their alliance goals at the far end of the field. A ball scored in a low goal earns one point. A ball scored in a high goal earns 10 points. Robots that assist their alliance when scoring will earn big bonuses. The match begins with each robot starting in the white zone or a goalie zone. Each robot can be preloaded with one game ball. A 10 second autonomous period starts the match. During this period, robots use pre-programmed instructions. Each ball scored during the autonomous period earns a five point bonus. One set of goals will be lit up and hot during each half of the autonomous period. Each ball scored in a hot goal gets an extra five point bonus. And every robot that moves from the center white zone into their own zone during autonomous gets another five point bonus. At the end of this period, human drivers step forward to take the controls. As the teleoperated period starts, teams command their robots to score as quickly as possible. A scoring cycle starts as a human player transfers a ball onto the field. Robots can just take the ball and run directly to the other end of the field to earn the basic goal score. But receiving assistance from your partners in moving the ball down the field will add bonus points. Alliances that use all three robots to assist the ball through all three zones will earn the most points. Throwing the ball over the truss on the way to a score will add a 10 point bonus and having your alliance partner catch the toss will add another 10 points. Of course, robots will have to be built robustly to avoid damage from falling balls. Meanwhile, one robot in the goalie zone can extend upwards to block shots and defend the goals. Alliances try to score as many points as they can during the two and a half minute match. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions. As you can see, Teamwork has a huge focus this year. They have six weeks to build a robot and ship it off. Our team must find a way to collaborate with other teams at the competition to maximize their points scored. Good luck to Team 1717, and may you guys have a great season.